This is an article that came out in Global News CA up in Canada. This is a drug that's up in Canada, and there are big fears of this drug ending up in the U.S. I think it's already here, to be honest with you. What we know about W18, that's what this drug is called, a drug 100 times more powerful than fentanyl. W18. And it was said that this drug has been around for quite a few decades now. And the Food and Drug Administration, and they wouldn't touch this drug in the U.S. Even decades ago, they wouldn't touch it. So let's get into this article. Police in Alberta are warning residents about W18, a powerful opioid 100 times stronger than fentanyl, discovered during a drug bust last summer. Calgary police said 110 fentanyl pills were seized from a home in Rocky View County in southern Alberta in August. In December, tests from Health Canada confirmed Three pills contained W18. It's an ongoing concern based on the fact that W18 is a hundred times more toxic than fentanyl. So they're saying that they're fearing that this may actually turn into another drug epidemic, ladies and gentlemen. The drug comes from a W series of opioid compounds first discovered at the University of Alberta in 1982, according to the BC Center for Disease Control. There are 32 compounds, W1 to W32, with W18 being the most toxic. W18 is not currently regulated under the Controlled Drugs and Substances Act and can be manufactured and bought freely according to BC Center for Disease Control. I have a video right here that I'm going to have you listen to. I mean, look, the last thing we need is another drug epidemic, but ladies and gentlemen, if this drug indeed, and many say they believe it's already here, you know, from what I'm reading and understanding online. This is another mess for them to be dealing with out here. So um, they're saying W18, like fentanyl, is being produced in China. So this is another drug coming out of China with a majority of the drugs coming through the ports of British Columbia. There is no way to really reduce the supply side because it is being produced in a foreign country, he said. We really have to focus on the demand side through awareness and education, prevention. Okay. Because, you know, uh, Canada have been battling with opioids just as badly as the U.S. They have a horrible problem up there all across Canada as well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play this other video that I found on this drug. neighbors. Good evening. It's 100 times more potent than fentanyl and 10,000 times more potent than morphine. It's called W18 and it has been found in parts of Canada and the United States. With communities across the area going through a drug epidemic, some say it's now time to be on the lookout for W18. WDAY6 reporter Jordan Schreer has more on this newest and deadliest drug. Its strength is staggering. Our message to the public is this. No matter what drug you use, fentanyl or W18 may be hiding in it. And they may kill you. 
first seen at a Canadian drug bust, it could be the next drug craze. Many say with it already being found in the streets of Canada, it's only a matter of time before it's found in our streets. There's always a demand for you know, drugs like that. There's always a, there's always someone supplying it, and there's always a high demand. And if it's in Canada, it's going to get here before it gets to Texas. Originally made in the 80s, it was supposed to be a less addictive painkiller. But pharmaceutical companies wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. We got more stuff coming in. That's even, like, that's not good. That's that is not, that is not good. One of the main problems with the drug, it's not illegal in the U.S. or Canada and can't be detected in drug tests. I don't know how, I don't have a plan to stop this, but I really think we need to start educating kids on this. A new drug not yet in our area that could plunge the community deeper in addiction. Jordan Schreyer, WDAY 6 News. Canadian officials are working to make sure the drug working to make the drug illegal no word as to when that might happen in the u.s the gas cut calgary police are warning of a powerful new drug ten thousand times more potent than morphine it's called w18 and law enforcement agents say odds are high there are still more shipments on the streets there's only been one seizure to date but there's a chance criminals will mix it in with illegal fentanyl pills alberta health says Fentanyl is responsible for over 200 overdose deaths in the province last year. That's up from 120 similar deaths in 2014 and only six deaths reported in 2011. There have been no known W18 related deaths, but police say it's hard to detect the drug in toxicology tests. Wow. Do you hear that? Ladies and gentlemen, they can't. All new tonight about a new powerful. You, you hear that? They can't even do a drug test to detect this thing. It's undetectable. I mean, that is incredible. And by the way, this video is from 2016. You can best believe that drug is here. We're just not hearing about it. But let's go on with the video. An addictive drug that's hitting Florida streets. It's more potent than heroin and it's killing people. Wait News reporter Michelle Kingston spoke with, with people who work with addicts, and they are afraid it's coming to Southwest Florida. This will kill you 10,000 times quicker than morphine will. It's very lethal. It's very potent. It's going to be spread. Um, it's cheap. The W18 pill is 100 times more powerful than fentanyl, a drug commonly laced hair and often leading to overdoses across the country. It's frightening. It's terrifying. A recovering addict tells Wink News why this new drug is so wanted. The euphoria that you received, the um, the checking out of reality, the lack of interest in life. Users are addicted in Canada and it is spreading throughout the Northeast. And less than two months ago, this drug was found in a Broward County man's home. He was charged for the fentanyl they found, but not the W-18. Because this drug, also known as Shady 80s, isn't listed as a controlled substance. It's legal to own here in the United States. That's only one reason addiction specialists say this drug is so scary. You cannot test for it in urine, blood, or hair. That's what makes it so dangerous. The recovering addict we spoke with says it's a drug so lethal, so destructive, but one so many will turn to if it's available. It's just all about the next high. It doesn't matter how you get it. Just as long as you get higher than you did the last time. Hopefully we'll get this drug illegal as soon as possible because it is so deadly. Michelle Kingston, Wink News Now. And Wink News checked in with the Lee County Sheriff's Office who told us the Narcotics Division is not aware of this, this drug and that it is now in our state. Experts say it causes vomiting, sweating, and erratic behavior. Do you hear that? So here's another drug that's probably been here for years, y'all. And I just found this now. W18. Believe me, there, there's no drug that's in Canada that has not reached the U.S., first of all. And plus, 2016 and now, it's definitely here. You know, and I think the reason why we have not heard about this before is because of all the shaming there is about the opioid plague that they can't even control. Now they have to come out and tell you about another drug 
that they have no control over. And they are saying this can't even be detected in a drug test. You know how many junkies are going to flock to something like this? Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.